So in this uh, painting, we're going to continue on with the um, three values uh, dealing with cardboard once again. Um, on this one, this is a little bit more of a complex sort of a drawing. I do have reference photos that you can download of this particular image um, if you're wanting to use that or you can look on your computer when you're doing the drawing and, and put pauses in and different things like that. I'm not sure uh, what you'd like to do with those, but we're going to start out with a piece of cardboard. Reference photo, got paints, got uh, things to go. So let's uh, let's do preliminary drawing first. Uh, this goblet, I find a lot of times on anything that has is a cylinder effect. If we can draw the top part first, of that flat oval, that will help out immensely uh, on, on trying to get done. So we have have that particular part ready to go, and then. This is going to taper in a little bit. We'll do kind of one side and then we'll do the other. And so in a little bit. And this doesn't have to be exact uh, on those. Um, just the idea of there being a goblet there is, is what we're looking for. And, and the parts on the inside too, as we start to get to those, they don't necessarily have to be exact either on the pieces that we're cutting out or that we're painting on with those and so now we have the, the the bowl part i guess of that and it looks like there's just maybe that comes out the stem a little bit here and cuts back in i'm going to keep this somewhat symmetrical so that one side is a reflection of the other as we develop our drawing part of this a little bit and this is going to have a little bit of a thing there and then hopefully be able to put side this needs to come in a little bit more I'm looking at here and looking where these ones are coming down I think that one went a little wide and then this rounded shape here is the same as this rounded shape up here okay that needs to flatten out just a smidgy okay then we have we have Our outline shape there and then there's some shadow things happening that kind of come off here to the side on that one and then this one has a bigger kind of a shadowy shape here um, my piece of cardboard is just a little bit small for what it is on that one but we'll, we'll give it a go okay so we have our, our basic outline uh, of the goblet we're looking for um, we can from here it might be helpful to go ahead and put in some of the, the where your dark shapes might be where some of your light shapes might be your medium values sometimes that gets a little bit confusing on it let's have a little bit of a different uh, approach on this one as well with that and let's um let's go from here let's establish some of our dark areas i think on that we could establish some of the light areas too, but remember we're going to use the the cardboard, the left cardboard, as 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 part of that. So let's jump into a little bit of paint on on our dark values. Okay, so this is going to be our our darkest stain that we have, our darkest paint that we're working with, and let's let's try and establish some of those things. So it looks to me like there's a little bit of a of a darker area over in here and then this also has a little bit of a darker area to it and so i'm just kind of seeing what we have here maybe 
halfway down here we have this coming into here and this whole side is a little bit dark and then halfway here you see it gets a little wider here and, and maybe dips down bit of this on this side maybe, right? I'm just kind of looking what we have. And then that and that are similar, right? Now interesting, this has a little bit of a different angle, but uh, this is where this one's coming down, maybe down into here. And Some, this has uh, some parts in here that are lighter. And this kind of comes down here to the, the rim, but not, not all the way. On that. And then there's this little shape in here that I kind of identified before. Let's go ahead and fill some of this in. I'm looking at this, I'm not sure how long I want this to be as far as the demo goes. Well, we'll see how far I get. Maybe we only get to the black part on this first first uh, session on this. I don't, I don't know. Let's, we'll we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear there. And so, some of this stuff, and that has some of that stuff, and that has some area over here. Let's take this in just a little wider down a little bit and then we have the very very bottom has some black maybe like that oh how splendid is that so we got that part going for me that's good I'm going to say that this part is dark here. And there's more. I can come all the way over here. Huh? Oops, I should have left a line in there. I didn't. Oopsies. And then this has some coming up here. Sounds like somebody's trying to give me a call or something on that one. That's crazy. All right. This part. You know, and then this kind of breaks up in here. This is where we don't have to be as exact. We know that there's some shadow area underneath here uh, as it comes up. Now this side, however, this side is all dark. And that kind of follows the rim around at least a little bit. I'm going to be a little more purposeful with my placement here. Way. This is just kind of jiggity jaggedy in through here. Alright. Let's get more of this in. Because I wanted this dark, right? This that was kind of a light gray. Dark gray, okay. That was dark gray.
And then there was a little bit of a darker portion over here too. And, oh, my head's getting in the way. I gotta get over here. Let's see. Let's just take that around. And then on this side, over here, it comes down to the rim. We gotta leave a little area. Kinda like that. And and there was some little more little areas in here. And we don't need to be exacting on those. You know that there's a little bit of a gap between them. And there was some more stuff over here. Maybe not going down all the way. How about that? Some of this was dry and I can I can push a little black. I don't, I don't need to. Okay, so now I got my blacks ready to go on those. Um, that was that was the easy part. <laughs> easy, yeah, right. Hi, right, Mr. White. Okay, so we got that going. Looks like it kind of kind of skewed on the camera here on those, but let's go ahead and bring that in a little bit. Okay, so now we need to put in some of the gray. On that one of the easiest things gray this this was a, kind of a, a gray right out here right and this is where we, we bring in the, the exacto knife uh, on those okay this one will paint all the way down into here a little bit okay now I can come back in Sliding the um, underneath, right? Because our gray is going to be the peeled up part. And since it's a shadow, I don't have to be the gray that's a shadow area and, and the shadows a lot of times have softer edges I don't necessarily need to be precise on, on the beginning and the ending of it a little bit it's good to have the cuts there so we can kind of see it but into here we can be a little bit more precise maybe Maybe not as precise in there. Okay, that was that was pretty good. Okay, so over here, I have an area that's all this stuff. some more of it coming out here this is where it's good to have a sharper point that you're dealing with 
uh, with those. And so now I'm just going to establish all of the gray areas and peeling up the extra little bit of, of cardboard that is in those grays. There's also a little bit of shadow. a little bit. I don't want us to go over too long on this demo, but you'll probably be working along with me on those, on some of those areas. Now remember what we're looking for is these white areas, this is, this is where we're going to try and leave some of the paper. Um, and so there's an area of white, and if you wanted to use a, if you're using a, uh, a crayon or a a white pencil or something like that to designate where you want the um, it to be lighter. You can do that too, and then you just carve out in between it. You know, um, this one I'm doing without the colored pencil or the white pencil. I got to be a little bit careful on my carving here and I am starting the sooner I is it's best to let this this dry a little bit that way it doesn't peel as much that's a little bit of the trouble I'm running into is the parts that I want to lift up are kind of right next to these darker parts that are still wet okay let's see if we can pull some of that up carefully that's our, our gray. Yeah, see that piece wants to... There we go. There we go. So let's get under that and kind of scoopy and lift it. this little part here. Ah! Didn't want it to go that far. Okay. Don't tell anybody. That's why we have glue, I think, uh, on this as well. Okay, so that's come along pretty good. And I think I might leave that little stem part right to, the, right to there like that with that lighter value. Okay, so here, oh, let's see how this cuts. Okay, so we're going to cut. Let's do this part over here in, kind of in sections. Because we have this light area we want to leave that's right in here. So I'm going to kind of... make it a little bit bigger than what it is, like that. And so I've established this, this area right here as my light area. Now I'm going to come back in and maybe lift off some of this, this other. Come on. whole thing to peel off here. So we gotta slice it. Ooh. 
That's pretty cool. I didn't cut it down here. Using the tip of your blade. So we can see that the, the gray now is starting to show through. Oh, I got a little more black off than I wanted. Good thing this is not a precise science that I'm working on here, huh? get in with just the, the tip of your exacto knife you can make a slightly little gouges and it will work let's see if we lift that off That's starting to come into focus a little bit better. Okay, last little part I want to get here, and we'll we'll call this one good. And you can be as meticulous, as precise, as as delicate as you like um, on on peeling some of these pieces off. Some of them will be less cooperative, but that is okay. careful with your blades don't hack your fingers or anything like these areas in here I don't know if I may get too much of the paper out or not they're pretty small but we can still give it a go
Okay, one for, I want to get near to the end. Yeah, I know, it's taking forever. Uh, but uh, we're doing pretty good on that one. So we have the stuff, what we write about where we want it there. The last thing I want to show you, if you if you need to, if you want to have some areas that aren't quite as precise and you want them more precise, you want them right up to the edge, you can come back in here with your, um, your brush and still put in some of the black that we <laughs> inadvertently lift it out whoopsies uh, on those and make it that a little bit more defined if you like i wanted this one to come up right about like that and when it dries it'll look look pretty natural And so then that's it, where we have our, our light areas, we have our uh, medium areas, and we have our dark areas. Uh, so creating the, the light, medium, and dark, dealing with paint, we still have a little bit of with the paint going on here, but also dealing with the torn cardboard on things. We can, I didn't excavate all the areas back down in here uh, that I could have, but I think that that's going to work out okay for us uh, as it is on those. And I can spend a little bit more time cleaning up later. But for the sake of the demo and uh, this particular painting, that's kind of uh, what we're looking for. I uh, hope you have fun with that. It is a little bit uh, different, but I think you guys can do it. Have some fun.